lovelies and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. Today I am going to be sharing with you a current beauty favorites video. So because I haven't been filming in a really long time, I wasn't able to do like a favorites of 2016 or anything like that. And I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to share products that I've been using on a daily basis. And some of these products are also brand new in my beauty regimen. So first of all, I want to start out with foundation and this is the foundation that I am wearing at the moment it is the Dior star foundation and this one is SPF 30 and I have to say that this foundation is fabulous first of all it goes on like a dream uh, if you're wondering about coverage I would say that it would be a medium coverage max it's not a full coverage foundation and I really like the fact that it has SPF 30 and it just gives me this amazing natural um, finish a satiny finish I would say and it's just beautiful wears well throughout the day and um, very easy to apply. I use my Marc Jacobs Face 3 brush to apply this foundation and it wears well throughout the entire workday. And this foundation also claims to be brightening. I can only state that that is true. Um, my face um, looks a lot brighter, more vibrant and I wear the shade 60. 060 in case you're wondering and I'll also include um, close-ups for all the products as well on to one of my favorites I never thought that this one would really become such a favorite in my skincare or um, makeup routine regimen um, this one is the Guerlain Meteorites and this one is the oxygen care moisturizer and radiance booster um, this one I use more as a base and it just makes my foundation go on a lot easier. Um, my face look more brighter, more radiant and I use these two together and they are holy grail products and I highly recommend it. If you have not tried it before, um, you can go to your counter and get a sample. I always recommend getting samples before investing heavily in something like this and then just try to use it as a base. I finally figured it out. I just do my skincare routine as I normally would, applying serum and moisturizer and then just a pump of this on top of that and it makes the world a difference when I apply my foundation. So definitely give this one a try. Also, speaking of serums, I'm almost finished with this one. As you can see, um, I'm all the way down here now. And this one is the Shiseido Ultimune Power Infusing Concentrate. And I use this twice a day. I use it in the morning and in the evening. And then I go on to apply my moisturizer uh, over that and I can tell you that my skin um, does look a lot more radiant I feel that my skin is a little bit um, tighter I don't know if it has anything to do with this solely but um, I absolutely love using it it does not break out my skin Shiseido I can tell you are as you already know is one of my favorite skincare brands and um, this is an amazing product and I did recommend it to my sister as well as well as I even went and got one for her so yeah um, you can also give this one a try in case you're thinking about it on to the next current favorite now I really and truly um, when I purchased this I was hoping secretly secretly let's just keep it between us okay that I wasn't gonna like it because one it's very very expensive to put it in perspective if you buy two of these you could buy an actual Louis Vuitton handbag that's putting it in perspective but I have to admit it it is a fabulous product one of the best 
face creams I've ever used and you've seen my videos throughout the years you know I've tried a ton but this is amazing and it is the Orchidie Imperial by Guerlain this is not something I would recommend you go out and buy like every two months when it runs out or however long it takes you to you know finish up a cream I would suggest it as something you get for Christmas or your birthday or something like that because it's very luxurious and very decadent so the cream itself it also comes with an applicator and there's also a space to put the applicator here which I love because I hate dipping my hands into my creams and it also has um, a cap and you can see I have used up a good amount of this I would say yeah about half of it already and it just really works with my skin it moisturizes my skin it stays the entire day moisturized I don't have an issue with any dry spots at all since I started using it um, like I said my skin feels a lot firmer I don't know if it's a combination of these two why and I feel that fine lines on my face are actually minimized by using this um, so is it worth it <laughs> yes I hate to admit it because I wanted to not like it so I could say oh it's too expensive and overpriced but it does work it works it works it works hands down the best moisturizing face cream I've ever used so the next two items are face item makeup I haven't been doing any strong makeup looks recently I don't know why I've gone very minimalist I'm keeping it down to a uh, foundation and mascara and liquid liner and filling in my brows I've been keeping it very basic but when I do decide to use um, any eye color at all like I'm like I did today I do use the Burberry quad and it's in the shade dark spice um, this is not something that is new but it's something that I use a lot and it's been featured in quite a few favorites and it still is and it's worth every penny um, if you go on travel or anything like that this is an easy pack up you can get your neutral eye you can get your smoky eye or you can get your one shadow looks just from simply this one palette and again it's the dark spice number five and the eyeshadows from Burberry are also very very buttery and I just love the consistency also, staying on Burberry, the blush that I'm wearing today, um, I have applied not too much, just a little, just a little. Um, it's in Hydrangea Pink and it's number 10 and it's the perfect color now for spring. Um, it's very vibrant, not only for spring, I also use this in the winter time too and it's just really really beautiful and a little goes a long way it's highly highly pigmented and i absolutely love it just pure pink vibrant girliness going on here as far as nail polish goes um i am true to my colors um, as i am today i'm wearing uh this gorgeous electric blue color from chanel it's called vibrato and absolutely love it among that the polishes that i have been wearing or that have been in my current rotation is from christian louboutin this one is called bengali and it is an exquisite vibrant pink color and i absolutely love it and i get a lot of compliments when i wear this one also i have two um, YSL nail polishes in my rotation um, two of which I'm sure you are familiar with are my absolute favorite the first one is Greet Underground in number 38 and then the next one is number 22 Beige Leger and you can see I've used up quite a bit of that and these two are two of my favorite shades from 
why so as far as fragrance goes there are two one you are also familiar with is my Chanel Chance Au Tente. This is in the 150 milliliter bottle. I go through a lot of these. Um, it's absolutely a beautiful fragrance. I've done several reviews on it and I absolutely love the notes and it's just very beautiful premium girliness going on and it's very fresh and I always get a lot of compliments whenever I wear this and if you've met me in person before and you've wondered what fragrance I was wearing but didn't want to ask it's this <laughs> Speaking of which, I've been meeting so many of you guys that also live in Frankfurt. So shout out to all the folks living in Frankfurt watching. Yay! <laughs> uh, my next fragrance is actually a new one. Um, I posted it on Instagram as well as I did post the notes as well. It's absolutely beautiful. It is the Mont Precieux Nectar fragrance by Galan. This is one of their exclusive fragrances. I can't begin to tell you how much I love the notes. It has orange blossom, it has jasmine, it has white musk. Very fresh, very beautiful. Um, it does come with a atomizer which I have not yet applied because there's just something very elegant and vintage about just pulling the cap out and just tilting the bottle and just applying it to my pulse areas and it just lasts all day and it is um, a perfume not a eau de perfume but a actual perfume so it does cost um, quite a bit but worth the investment and a little as I said goes a long way with this fragrance continuing with mascara this has been a recent discovery I think I featured it in the last video the very last video that I uploaded of my huge haul and it's from Too Faced it's a Too Faced better than sex mascara and I have to say I have converted <laughs> I absolutely love this mascara. It lifts, um, separates, and just gives me really nice full lashes. And I'm, I am wearing it today. And I do love the formulation of this um, mascara and will definitely repurchase. It does not, however, replace my Dior Show Blackout Mascara, which is my all-time ultimate favorite mascara doesn't replace it but it comes pretty darn close if you ask me as far as concealer goes um, I have been using the Tom Ford concealing pen now this one I have a little bit of a history with because I do remember purchasing it in New York and I did remember returning it the reason why I returned it was because I tried it out and it was very drying under my under eye. But I am now convinced that the product that I purchased was actually um, a defect. So I got this one on my last trip to, um, I was in New Jersey and I decided, I don't know, give it another go. Let's see how it goes because I was telling my sister that it was really drying under my under eye only to find out that it wasn't drying under my under eye at all. I just had bought a defect product and it's absolutely fabulous. I am wearing it today under my under eye. Love the application, wears flawlessly throughout the day. I have no issues so you can give this a try and if it didn't work for you, maybe you were unlucky just like me. But it's a favorite and I love it. Staying on Tom Ford uh, for brows, I have been using the Tom Ford Brow Sculpture and I wear the color Espresso and it has two ends. It has a nice little spoolie there which I absolutely love and it also winds up as well and you can see the product there. 
I love a really nice natural looking brow not anything overdrawn or too overdone and this is just um, perfect for that and this is what I use every day for my brows onto liquid liner I have been using the YSL um, eyeliner effect for seals shocking and this one comes with um, a nice felt tip applicator normally I go for liquid liners like my girl on liquid liner which I absolutely love but it's finished now and then I turn to this and I really love it and it also lasts throughout the day as well so moving right along I have several lip products I haven't been wearing a ton of lipsticks um, I've been more into glasses recently. Let me start by sharing that one lip product that I use for my overall lip care and it's from Dior. It's the Creme de Rose uh, lip balm. This lip balm is absolutely beautiful. Once it runs out, I will be repurchasing and you can see this is how much of it I use. I am absolutely in love with this lip balm and I highly recommend it. It's very soothing, moisturizing, and it smells like roses. So it's just perfect. The perfect lip balm. Love it and highly recommend it. Um, when it came to lipsticks, I have only been wearing basically two. If I wanted color, I chose to wear Max uh, Rebel and it is a satin and it's just beautiful vibrantness going on oh so pretty so pretty i have featured this um in several other videos as well as swatches so you can just um, check that out on my channel page you can just type in mac rebel and on my channel page and you will find a review and swatch of this uh, the next one, it's an oldie but goodie and I love this color. It's the Rouge Dior Nude and it's number 683 Esquisse. And it is just the perfect nude and this is what I'm wearing on my lips today. It is the perfect nude for my skin tone and I absolutely love it. I have fell in love officially with this lip product from Guerlain and it's the Guerlain Super Lips Lip Hero. Now I have always been a fan of lip glosses and some of the formulations cause my lip to peel. Now this does not happen with the Guerlain um, Super Lips. It also contains um, grapeseed extract which I love and my lips does not peel at all it's very moisturizing and just gives me a nice glossy finish so i am a huge fan of this and it also comes with a um, slanted applicator just like that and you just squeeze it the product comes out it smells so yummy i just want to eat it i don't actually eat lip gloss i just you know feel like i want to eat it <laughs> And still on the topic of lip gloss, last but certainly not least from Clarence, it's the Clarence Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector. And this one, I really like the formulation as well. It's very thick and creamy and glossy. And this one is more like a pinky nude on my skin tone and I do love it and I always have this in my cosmetic bag. If you haven't tried them before, you definitely should. I don't think they get talked about a lot on YouTube, but they should, because they're fabulous. So that's it lovelies for my very long current favorite video. I hope you enjoy the video as much as I do love sharing. If you're interested in following my channel, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I would love to see you over there and take care of yourselves. Until next time, bye bye.